Hello students, today we will do AJAX. So AJAX stand for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Let's go to File menu, New, Add New Website and rename this website to Soft Solutions AJAX. Choose the language C hash and click on OK. So before starting off with AJAX, uh, we should have knowledge of post pack. Now there are basically two types of post packs available in ASP.NET. First one is your synchronized post pack and second is asynchronized post pack. Now the difference between synchronized and asynchronized post pack is that a synchronized post pack sends the entire page to the server and in case of asynchronized post pack only the required portion of page request goes to server. Let's take an example. Let's take our button. and a label control let's rename this button as PTN outside AJAX also rename this label as label outside AJAX. Let's take another label control onto the page. Now on the button click event, write down the code lbl outside ajax dot text is equal to date time dot now dot to string. Now when we click on this button, the current date time will be shown in this label control. Similarly on page lot event, write down the code label one dot text is equal to date time dot now dot to string so when your page loads the label one dot text will contain the value of current date time let's add a breakpoint and debug the application You can see as the application starts, the label one dot text will contain the value of current date time. So now when you click on the button, again the value of label one will be refreshed because the page load event will fire first and after that your button outside Ajax event will fire. Now you can see the value of both the labels controls will be refreshed. So this is our synchronized post pack. So in case of synchronized post pack, the request for the entire page goes to server. Now my requirement is when I click on this button, only this label control value should be refreshed. So in this case, we will use Ajax. 
Now Ajax is basically used for asynchronized post pack means only the required portion of the page request will go to server. So let's take another button. Take one more button that will send a required portion of page to the server. and rename this button as btn inside ajax also take another button or take another label control and rename it to label inside Ajax Now in case of this button, write on the code on the click event LBL inside ajax dot text is equal to date time dot now dot to string. Now what I want to do is we want these two controls inside the ajax so that when the request goes to server only the value of this label will refresh. So before taking Ajax controls onto a page, first we have to add script manager on the top of the page. Just remember one thing that there can be only one script manager onto a form. So always take the script manager onto the top of the page. So we have added a script manager on the top of the page. Now all those controls which you want inside the Ajax, take them inside update panel. So we are adding an update panel, ASP, update panel, given ID, UPD1, run it is equal to server. Now inside the update panel, take content template and take both the controls inside the content template and the update panel. Now again run this page. And you will see when I click on the button outside Ajax, the value of both the labels changes. But when I click on inside Ajax, only the value of label inside the Ajax changes. It has no impact on other two values. So this is a demo application that demonstrates the working of Ajax. Thank you very much.